Across the globe, there are anywhere between 10 and 20 million suicide attempts yearly. We have learned that 90% of those who commit suicide have mental illnesses that were probably treatable. In most cases, those illnesses had gone unrecognized and untreated. There can be many different causes and risk factors for suicide, with untreated depression being the leading one. Someone who is suicidal could be in so much physical or emotional pain that they see no other option for themselves. Some other risk factors for suicide include history of abuse, recent breakup or divorce, lack of social support, financial distress, gambling problems, and family history of suicide. Alcoholism or drug abuse is another big risk factor. Substance abuse makes any feelings of helplessness worse and creates additional problems. In general, teens and older adults have a higher risk of suicide. A person who is suicidal may not ask for help, but that doesn't mean they don't want it. The most important part of preventing suicide is knowing the warning signs and taking them seriously. Talking openly about suicidal thoughts is a great place to start and could possibly even save a loved one. Ask important questions like, how long have you been feeling this way? And make sure to let your loved one know they are not alone. Remove all potentially life-threatening items, including guns, knives, pills, and razors. Support from friends and family is vital in treatment. If you or someone you know is having suicidal thoughts, it is imperative to get help immediately. The National Suicide Prevention Hotline is available 24-7. Calling 1-800-273-8255 will connect you to a trained crisis counselor.